Hello, good morning, everybody. How's it going? It's LVO reveals time. It's kill team reveals. Then it's very early. That's actually my primary feeling. Anyway, so it happened. Mandrakes occurred. They came to our nightmares and ended our salvation. I, I don't know. That I yeah, cool. There's also a whole load of other cool AF. As foretold, looking models, so I'm going to look through everything, because I don't think they missed. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, as you know, I'm not really uh, GW's biggest fan right now, um, having lost interest in a lot of their game systems. But, uh, damn, those are some pretty models. Anyway, with that said, let's shrink a -roni me. There you go, shrinkified. Let's take a look at everything. So... We do indeed have the Mandrakes. Um, the next box is called Nightmare. As far as I could tell, they didn't tell us when this is coming, but they kind of never do. And frankly, with all of the rumours that we hear about how horrifying their shipping situation is these days, rightly so. We've already seen the Night Lords. Uh, let's get past them. Although, shall we? Maybe not. Night Lords. I reckon they are going to be, as people have suggested, because this kind of makes sense, they're going to be Phobos, but melee. There you go. There you go. Because Chaos, for some reason, don't know how to use guns. Despite the fact we are currently looking at a guy with a missile launcher and a plasma pistol. That seems to be Chaos's thing. They like to hit people in the face. Close. Instead of so far. We get Mandrakes. Now, I want to quickly read the little thing about Mandrakes. Meanwhile, the Mandrakes lurk within their shadow realm, launching into material space in a flurry of cold fury and skill that borders on the supernatural. And you know what? As soon as I, I read that, my mind flipped into kill team mode and I said, borders on the supernatural? Well, that's 2.5 APL, baby. That's how cringe I am. Anyway, let's take a quick look at the models. Um, so, first, first thing that stands out is this little uh, magical wave thing here. GW designers, modelers here at full play. What this here is, is a, a copy-paste from their recent, uh, what are they called? The Knight Shadow Stalkers from Age of Sigma. I know that because I recently went and picked up both the... Uh, the, hit, the, the grid game. What's that called? I bought it. I, I like it. What's it called? Death Gorge? Underworld. There you go. Uh, I picked up the Knight Shadow Stalkers for them. And then also the Warcry band, which is the same faction, probably also called Knight Shadow Stalkers. There you go. And they, one of them has this exact pose where they're kind of wrapping themselves in a cloak of shadow with it, that exact thing. So there you go. Um, so yes, uh, I'm, maybe my colours, the old ironies are failing me here, but this thing, shadow thing looks to be the same colour as their skin, so I guess that is magic and their skin is also magic. Cool. Obviously they are wearing shirts. So. Now, uh, we can quickly look through all of them. They do have some cool AF poses. Um, I think these look nifty. Um, yeah, and they look how they should look. This is kind of what I expected. I will say that they all look... So obviously, they've gone kind of true scale with them. They're all quite thin and tall, it seems. Uh, which, which is fine. That makes total sense. And obviously, it's a change from what they used to be. Cool. They all have nifty-looking flames and swords. That is exactly what we expect. However... We do now have to contend with the fact that I think that this team looks like a kill team, right? It's like, okay, that's a specialist. Uh, uh, why are they showing us normal troops? Thank you. These are specialists. Specialists. Okay, cool. Not many specialists. Only three or four, but specialists. These are all pretty clearly different. Uh, sorry, the same. Like... In the same way that 
we had uh, striking scorpions who literally just had mirrored poses of I'm holding my left arm down, my right pistol up. Then another one that has I'm holding my right arm down, left pistol up. We have an identical thing here, which is what people are going to complain about and say that these are like 40k squads. Let's have a quick look at the whole squad. Sorry. There you go. Um, someone posted this to my Discord. Thank you. Um, yeah, this just looks like a 40k squad. Um, with a single model standing out, which is the guy with the shadow cloak. He's like wrapping himself in shadows. Everybody else doesn't look different enough that you could pick them out of a crowd. And yeah, you can see very clearly uh, mirrored poses. So we're getting 10 models. But again, much like with the Scorpions, it's going to be two sprues of five. Um, it's, it's, uh, I don't really care. Yeah, there you go. So I know that some people are pretty annoyed by this trend from GW where they are literally just giving us a 40k squad. But I, I feel like... Whilst I've been playing Blades of Cain, and I've played them quite a bit, bizarrely, quite not hugely loving them, but like they're fine, but uh, not really my thing. I've played them quite a lot. At no point did I think, oh, wow, I wish this specific model could do a thing, you know? I, I yeah, I'm pretty okay with it. Although, actually, on the flip, arguing with myself, literally here, um... Part of the reason for that is because, yes, we have scorpions, but we also could bring in other aspects. Ten mandrakes might feel very different. Um, for example, in the same way that I guess I'd be okay running ten scorpions or ten banshees, not ten dire avengers, though. And it's not. Cool. Anyway, kill teams of mandrakes may be enlisted by the laws of Kamora with the resources to contact them though ultimately these spectral killers fight nobody but themselves they are mercenaries of realm if you don't mastery of the shadows is their speciality as their glimmer steel blades strike even greater power when darkness consumes their prey that sounds like power from pain uh so oh and here presumably they're talking about a shadow weaver the mandrake shade weaver is a particularly perilous operative Hmm, he doesn't call them their leader. Hmm. It's going to be really weird. Are we going to have a leader and a shade weaver? No, the shade weaver has to be the leader. There was only one model that stood out. Yeah. Um. So, lights gut from fading their presence, cloaking the battlefield in shadow so complete that the Madrakes can bore tunnels through the fabric of reality, emerging within striking distance before fitting away like a wisp of smoke. Sounds to me, if I had to guess, what does that mean? For an APL. No, it's going to be a ploy. It's going to be a ploy. It's going to be a redeploy. So, you know how. It's going to be a strategic ploy. Uh, you know how Kaskin can, like, move. Whatever it's called. Move everybody within. Square. We're going to get that, except it's going to be move. Anywhere on the board, oh, that sounds really powerful, can't be that. Uh, let's go with it. Uh, and uh, one guy can do that. Not as a pre-game dash, sorry. Well, maybe they get a pre-game. But no, I'm thinking during the game, and you can finish your move within one inch of heavy terrain. That's going to be them popping out of the shadow. And then we get more terrain. <clears throat> now, you might, you may recall, you all may recall, I was a, not a, I was somewhat of a detractor of um, Beta Decima, right? And I, I had not too many kind words to be said about the terrain um, in Salvation. But, Actually, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. Looks fun. Um, the reason I like it is because it's got a little walkway in between bigger things. So it looks like an actual thing that people might use. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. I will happily put that on my board. Um, Playability-wise, probably not great. <laughs> to be honest. 
from the looks of it, is going to be a bit too large to be really useful. Um, although it might end up being a, a really solid kind of mid-board thing that everybody puts in the middle of their board to block line of sight. There you go. Cool. All right. Mandrakes. I'm cool with them just being a 40k squad. That's fine by me. Uh, Night Lords. I'll see if I can get over the bat ears. Cool. All right. Let's go have a quick look at everything else. Warcry. Get Lumineth and Night Haunt. Uh, cool. The Night Haunt never stand out brilliantly to me. I feel like GW has done spooky ghosts and they've done them pretty deep, like they've done them, done them very well. But then they, I feel like for me personally, they've stopped being able to move up from that. It's just like, yes, we've done that. Lumineth Realm Lords, I am quite the elf simp. I'm into it. Yes. I haven't seen this. Is, you're, you're seeing my live reaction. I think now you're thinking, oh, he's dead inside. I, I... These are bloody Harlequins, aren't they? Yeah, very nice. I like these. These look cool. I like the face masks. I like the little... Mm. I'm into these. Very nice. Delightful. Proof. Root hunting pack. Now, I'm not going to lie. As you are aware, I'm not the biggest 40k lover. Damn. Something about these are really doing it for me. I, I can't even tell you what. Not these guys. Oh, a little crew car. Oh, man. Oh, that, that's awesome. I want him. What a cute little puppy. Because we've seen crew hounds. That's a puppy. I'm down. I want the crew pup. I think I am actually. Yeah. Damn. Have me some crude. And then, so I already have like a thousand points of Tau. And I have the, uh, the crude uh, fast stalkers fully painted, obviously. And now I could have four crude. That's a ridiculous guy. That doesn't. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. This is fine. I guess this is a redone carnivore pack. This is what I want to see. God. God damn. Can't believe they're doing this to me. Guess when you think you're out. They pull you back in. Shit. God damn. No, no, these look really cool. Um, hashtag must buy. Look awesome. And then it says, these aren't even the only new crew that's coming. Yeah, then I'm going to become. Very cool. Very cool. I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. There you go. Obviously. Sound class. Very nice. <clears throat> now, am I going to play the game? Hashtag, no fucking way. All right. Uh, then I just, this is just another big model they're doing. I don't even know who it's for. Looks okay. I think those wings are going to look good on other models. I think it's a nice scenic base. Don't think the pose is, I'm sure the pose is good, but it's covered by so much hair. Kind of lost. Um, oh, and then we get some more classic uh witch hunter looking models they just look cool af yeah i'm just throwing them off because i think yeah i'd buy both of those heck yeah bra get a thief yep yeah, i'm in get oh this is the cat cat lady cool yeah i'm down and another cool looking storm cast yeah looks cool i'm into all of this what is this is this just? Is it? Are these just releases, or are they for a thing? Oh. Okay. They're just new cities of Sigma releases. Okay. Cool. Fine. Uh, we then get some Underworlds. 
uh, I've got to say, personal, you know, personal take. These were the only thing from the reveals that I didn't much care for. But I'm aware that's because I personally don't much like zombies and stuff. But, yeah, these didn't do it for me. I will say, though, if you're a Mordheim lover, uh, this is actually a perfect little uh, because you're not meant to have skeletons, you need zombies. Underworld hasn't done, you know, tends to be their best zombies, uh, or best models. And Underworld hasn't really done many zombies. Yeah, they mainly do skeletons, which, in a sense, not supposed to use them. Uh, and then we get Horus Heresy, Solo Auxilia. It's good that they're still releasing plastic for it, I guess. Not my vibe, it has turned out. Wait, what's this? Oh! I thought this was Legion's Imperial. I was re then really confused about the single models being on bases. Right, plastic solar auxilia. I'm on the ball now. Ah, okay. Hmm. You know what? I'm into it. I'm down. That looks pretty cool. Um, you know, it's always good to have another alternative way to build your Imperial Guard. I think there's something to their helmets. I like their heads. Me, personally, I've never really been into kind of that, like, Navy breach style submarine. But, I get it. Um, and this is a little bit, this is reminiscent of that for me. Uh, but you know what? Cool that we get some new plastics. And the tanks look fine. The tanks look like Imperial Guard tanks. And that's what they're supposed to look like. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well, there are some misses. That's fair. Oh, there's still more. Oh, good. Yeah, they look cool. And what else can I say? What else can I say? Uh, this coming after Fruit, after Mandrakes, after cool looking Lumineth Holocron proxies and after uh, Cities of Sigmar Witch Hunter dudes, I'm Soz but ooh, well, I'm flagging at the end, these don't look particularly good but there you go, pretty hype pretty, this has been um, actually I think a really solid set of like reveals uh, I've been into all of them and that means my question to you all has to be, am I, being, am I smoking the Kool-Aid? Um, did you see that terrain and you were like, what the hell is it? The hell? Or, are you cool with it? Were there any misses? Did you see those crew? I'm like, whatever, bro. I don't care. That was obviously a ridiculous example. Nobody would see those crew and say these duck. Obviously, I understand. But uh, yeah, cool, hype, right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, you know, it's good to sometimes have uh, sat in front of a webcam, low energy stream to remind you of the enjoyment of why I go into the other room and read from a script normally. Thanks, everyone.